I'm John Petty from Hose Candy and I'm going to show you how to build your own jaw-dropping custom hoses using Hose Candy's new hot rod kit. It's quick, easy, and we'll be sure to have some fun while doing it. We'll be using this 1969 Ford Fairlane with stock hoses to demonstrate our hot rod kit installation. Your Hose Candy hot rod kit includes the following components. You'll get a hose skin radiator kit with carbon fiber Kevlar skins, super shrink, and boa clamp size just for your vehicle. You'll get hose candy sidewinders with CNC rotators, rubber adapters, and all the fittings you'll need to convert all of your vacuum or turbo line into quick couplers. You'll also get our performance silicone hose kit with hose skins and our one inch hose skin kit with hose skins and super shrink. Since we're going to be breaking the cooling system apart, the first step you want is to... Crap. Since we're going to be removing your radiator hoses, the first step is to remove all the coolant from the radiator and cooling system. All right, we're gonna show you some other uses for hose candy products to demonstrate these, some of these other uses and some of the unique features of this. I've asked Cal to come in and give us a hand. You're gonna actually be giving us a literal hand. Just put your right arm forward, Cal. And I'm gonna show you how hose skins can expand to accommodate all different sizes. This is our three inch hose skin. It's used for induction systems and other large hose capabilities. You can see the extreme expansion and how the hose skins can adapt to the shape and the size of Cal's, of Cal's arm. That'll do the same thing on your hoses. Cal, how do, you, how do those feel? Okay, this sucks. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this upper radiator hose off of here. We've loosened the clamps, and we're gonna pull this one out. Now, it, part of your hot rod kit includes the upper and lower portions of the skin kit. You just wanna open this part of the kit up, and they include the carbon fiber Kevlar skins, the BOA clamps, and the super shrink. We need to cut the hose skin to the proper size. And it's pretty critical that you, you get this right because the Kevlar is so difficult to cut that if it's just a little bit too long, uh, it's very difficult to cut a quarter inch off. And so one of the things to remember is that you can't just measure this out like that and cut it, the length will decrease because it will shrink as the diameter of the hose increases. Then start sliding the, the hose skin over the hose and you're gonna have to work it because the fibers and the weave will realign and then will mark it for cutting. And you wanna make it just a little short on the end. That's about where you want it. Try and cut it as much as you can in the dark black portion of the weave. I've marked it. I'm going to pull it back just a little bit and, um, and I'm going to cut it. Now even your regular scissors, they've got to be sharp because the Kevlar is throughout the weave. So you'll push that on. We forgot to tell you that there, there's another great feature of Hose Candy hose skins and that these are not Chinese finger puzzles, they're Chinese arm puzzles. And now we'd like to demonstrate the strength of Hose Candy hose skins. So Cal is gonna demonstrate um, the strength of our carbon fiber Kevlar hose skins. And 
Cal, I'm going to lift up these forks, and when they get to a good height, if you'll just slide those, slide your arms and that skin right over that. You know, I can probably drive him around the shop for a while here. I, I think that's good. <laughs> Cal, hey, 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 hey. are you okay? Where are you going? Okay, we'll be back to check on you. I'm going to hit the hit the lights so you won't be distracted by anything. We don't want you to wiggle or move. In fact, we'll shut the door too. The next step is to crush the core of the boa clamp, removing the cardboard insert. Slide your boa clamps over your hose. Now install one end of the radiator hose to the radiator. It doesn't really matter which side gets installed first. Reposition the hose and boa clamp as needed to ensure a tight fit. Then slide both super shrinks over the uninstalled end. Make sure that it is conformed to the shape of your hose. Now get your heat gun and start shrinking the boa clamp, starting with the clamp at the radiator side. As you start applying heat to the boa clamp, you will notice there is a shiny change to the surface of the clamp. Make sure that this is a consistent shine all the way around the boa clamp to ensure proper shrinkage. Once the radiator side boa clamp is installed, you will put on the super shrink. Make sure to position the logo on the hose as desired. As the super shrink shrinks, it will darken in color and get shiny. Make sure that this is consistent all the way around the clamp as you apply the heat. Repeat these steps to install the boa clamps and super shrink on the engine side of the radiator hose. And there you have it, a completed upper radiator hose. Your Host Candy Hot Rod Kit includes um, Host Candy's revolutionary Sidewinders, which are a very unique uh, CNC rotating quick couple system. Your kit will look something like this. These are the CNC rotators. Now within this kit, you have a number of rubber fittings these which are used to assemble the CNC rotators. You'll look at your CNC rotator and you'll have an end that's more star shaped and then you'll have an end that's more screw shaped. You'll take the star shape and this end of the uh, quick fitting and you will assemble it until you hear it click. Is when it clicks, it sticks. Now you've got your rubber 90 here and within the kit, you'll have a fitting. This is the mate to the CNC sidewinder fitting. And now you have a completed coupling. This is rated from minus 30 inches of vacuum to 125 PSI. Included in your hot rod kit are high performance silicone hose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna retrofit the vacuum lines on this uh, Dodge Dart Wrong. Ford Fairlane to Sidewinder Quick Couplers 
The first hose we're going to focus on is our vacuum advance hose. And we're going to replace this hose with our high performance silicone vacuum hose. We want to thank Cal for his help in demonstrating new hose candy hose skins. There's one final test and that is uh, we need to see if you can get out of these by yourself. We're actually looking at some military and police uses for these and, but as one of the tests we need to ha see if you can get out of these on your own. We'll just see how long it takes for the next there's also an IQ test. <laughs> the longer it stays on, the lower the IQ. <laughs> now, I was going to take it off, <laughs> but now I think I'm going to leave it on. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is get the right length of hose. We're just going to use our other hose. We're going to eliminate this 90 degree bend. We're going to replace it with a hose candy molded 90 degree fitting. We're just going to assemble like this, press that in, and then this fitting will go on to the vacuum advance of the distributor. We'll press that on. We're going to want to use another 90 degree fitting on the other carburetor port to give us a nice straight run. We're going to install our black CNC sidewinder into this end. We're going to install our CNC sidewinder into this end. Here's a finished vacuum advance hose. Let's just hold up the original hose so you can get an idea of the difference between the two. We'll show it to you on the vehicle so you can see what it looks like. Once you've learned the basics of how to build one hose, you can build them all. There is only one way to get your hose skins off. And this is a good example of how to install and how to remove your hose skins. You've got to push them. So it's the same thing with your hoses. You can't pull hose skins on or off. You've got to work and push them on or off. Thanks, Cal. Do not Warning. try this at home. Warning. I would like to say we're trained professionals, but I don't think we qualify. But do not do this at home. Um, hose skins are strong, but they're not meant to be used on any part of the human body. So all you guys thinking about installing them as socks and on legs and on other things, the answer is no. We do not allow that and our insurance will not cover any bodily uses of hose skins. Now we're going to go and rebuild all of the vacuum lines on this car.
Take a look at the difference hose candy made on this 1969 Ford Fairlane. Here's before and the after pictures speak for themselves. Now you can expect the same results on your hot rod. Just wait till you open your hood the first time after installing hose candy. Be prepared for long periods of staring and hearing things like, wow, how'd you do that? You can use hose candy on heater hose, fuel lines, vacuum and turbo hoses, windshield washer hoses, brake line, emission hoses, radiator hoses, overflow hoses. There's really no end to what you can do with hose candy. Armed with the basics of hose candy, it's now your turn to let your creative juices flow.